In today's video, I'll be revealing how to use GPT-4 in addition with ChatGPT plugins to help you write SEO optimized articles that will rank on Google. So let's go ahead and get started. The plugin that I'll be using is called WebPilot. So WebPilot allows you to browse the live web and to be able to access information from URLs on ChatGPT. So the way that I use WebPilot is I use WebPilot to extract the main information from top ranked blog posts for a specific keyword and then take that information and feed that into ChatGPT to write me an article. So for example, let's say we wanted to rank for the keyword how to become a pilot, right? So these are going to be the top ranked blog posts for this specific keyword. We see a blog post from Indeed, from ATP Flight School, from Monster.ca. And if we scroll down, we can see some other top ranked blog posts for this specific URL. So what we can do is we can take the top three um, URLs, so from Indeed, from ATP Flight School and from Monster.ca, and we can pop that into ChatGPT, right? And we have the plugins enabled. This is GPT-4. And you can tell ChatGPT to analyze these three URLs and extract the main outlines, the H1, H2, H3 tags, main keywords, style of writing, format, and extract anything that you think is important that helps them to rank on Google. So again, what we're doing here, we're using WebPilot to extract the main SEO information from these articles. So as we can see here, WebPilot um, actually went ahead and it was able to read the first URL, which is from Indeed, and it's able to give us the main outline. So the intro, the key takeaways, the job description, the steps to becoming an airline pilot, salary details, and so on. Then we can see the H1, H2, and H3 tags. Then we can also see the main keywords. So this is going to be a list. It's not an, mo the most exhaustive list, but it's a fairly decent list of keywords within that article. You can probably also ask it to give you variations of that keyword as well um, to expand on that. Then you have the format. So this is going to tell us how to actually format our blog post, what makes it rank on Google. So this is going to be some more additional information that allows this blog post to rank on Google. So as you can see, WebPilot does a really, really good job at extracting that information. And again, you can be a little bit more detailed in your prompting and you can even tell it like once it's finished extracting that information, you can tell it to extract more keywords, more H1 tags, um, or more outlines if you're not happy with the results that you, that you get back. So now it's what it's going to do is it's going to extract the same information for the other two um, URLs. So this is from ATP Fight School. Again, we can click on that URL and we'll be able to see it. So it extracts, it extracts the main outlines, the H1, H2, H3, the main keywords and the style of writing format and what makes it rank on Google. So that's for the second URL. And again, it repeats that process for the third URL. So we get some pretty important information here from WebPilot about what we need to do to be able to write our article to increase the likeness of ranking on the first page of Google. So now that we have this information, we can then prompt the AI to use that information to write a SEO optimized comprehensive blog post outline on this topic. So the prompt that I used was using the information you extract, let's write our own SEO optimized blog post. We will start by writing an in-depth comprehensive SEO outline for the keyword, how to become a pilot. And you may want to add something like, make sure you use the information that you found above, just to make sure that it's using that information. And also you'd probably want to tell it to write a markdown so everything will be uh, well formatted. So here's the SEO optimized outline. It gives us a title and it gives us a meta description. And then we have the introduction, so brief overview of the journey of becoming a pilot, importance of understanding the requirements, why become a pilot, basic eligibility criteria, choosing the right flight school, essential training and certifications, um, building flight hours, challenges, conclusions, FAQs, and a call to action. Then we also have below that the keywords to incorporate for SEO. So, if, so it's went ahead and selected some keywords that they think are important to include within this article. And there's some internal and external links, which is pretty good. And then this is the full outline just being um, summarized there. So we got a pretty decent outline, I would say. Kind of seems like it covers most of the information for this blog post. So once you're happy with your outline, and again, if you're not happy, you can always tell it to expand this outline to include more relevant um, information and topics for this blog post. But once you're happy with your outline, now you can tell it to write the full article. So I've told it to use the outline that you wrote, write the full article, write a markdown, include lists, tables, bullet words, charts, start by writing the introduction first. So the reason why I told it to start by writing the introduction first is because we want to kind of separate the outline so that we can get more content. 
And you can also tell it to write in a specific tone, write in a simple, easy to read manner. And you can kind of play around and improve this prompt as you see fit for your own article. So this is the first um, intro in which we get back, how to become a pilot. And then you get a nice intro here. Why is it important to become a pilot? Basic eligibility criteria. And you have a table with your age, education, medical fitness, choosing the right flight school. So it wrote a couple of the sections of the um, blog post, but it didn't finish it. So I told it to continue. Then it continued to write about essential training and certifications, airline pilot requirements, building flight hours, challenges and rewards, and a conclusion. So overall, this article was kind of short. Um, I didn't, I think it was pretty good in terms of the, the format and the actual H1 and H2s, but it was way too short for my liking. So what I did was I told it to expand this article and the prompt that I used was, I want you to keep the same style and the format, but expand this blog post so it is at least 1500 words. So then it was able to expand on that article. And as you can see, we get a much, much longer article here. It's um, added some more information when it comes to choosing the right school, some more information when it comes to essential training, airplane pilot requirements, building flight hours, challenges and rewards of being a pilot and a conclusion. And the FAQ is a little bit longer as well. So this expanded article, I believe was about 1500 words. So it was able to hit that word count. So you definitely can write engaging SEO optimized articles using the chat GPT interface, GPT-4 and plugins. Because I know some of you don't have access to the playground mode or don't know necessarily how to use the playground mode. You can follow this format and this allows you to write not um, thin or generic content because again, we're taking the information from some of the top ranked blog posts. That's going to allow us to write a much more in-depth and SEO optimized article that Google will be more likely to rank on the first page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check this on Neuron Writer to see how SEO optimized our content is just so that we can have a better idea of um, how well this method works. Okay, so now we're in the content editor and I'm going to go ahead and paste in the content that we got back from chat GPT. And as you can see, it's already a 47. So that's pretty good right off the bat. Now let's go ahead and enter our title and made a description that chat GPT has already um, generated and let's save and close. And as you can see, we have a score of 64. So I'm pretty impressed and happy with that number. And again, this is without doing any further optimization. So if I simply just go ahead and optimize the title. I'm sure I'll be able to get a much higher score. So I've went ahead and changed and added in some words that um, Neuron Writer um, has suggested that we include within our title and description. And as you can see, we're up to an 68. And now if you we went ahead and just optimized our H1s, I'm sure again, we can get this to at least a 70 plus. Okay, so again, I've went ahead and added in the keyword how to become an airline pilot into the H1. And boom, we're up to a 71. So as you can see, um, you definitely can create SEO optimized content using GPT-4 and using um, the web pilot plugin. It's well formatted. It has lists. It has a table included in there. It also has external links as well. And we were able to get a pretty high SEO score. And again, if I went ahead and manually um, sort of um, helped out with the H2 and the H3 and some of the other terms that's recommended from Neuron Writer, I will definitely be able to increase this SEO score. So that's the workflow of creating SEO optimized content using ChatGPT and the WebPilot plugin. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video as always, and I hope that you guys learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.